Hey guys, Redstone Without Limits here again, and uh, we're going to get started on the CPU. We're going to get working on the function memory. So the idea behind function memory is, uh, you see all these lines here? Well, each one of these has a purpose, and these lines can be used for multiple different functions. So what we do here is we make a little ROM line, um, a decoder, and we give each one of those a specific function. So what I've done here is uh, there's a few functions that I just wanted to ignore and then uh, use later. And I have ignored those, so don't worry about them at the moment. So what we do to start programming this function memory is we look at our instruction set, we look what we need to do. So um, what we need to do here, uh, basically, you know, null, it's pretty self-explanatory, not doing anything. Uh, zero, or no, uh, load value from immediate into the accumulator, load to add, um, and load to be add. So we're just going to assume that's A, like so. And we have load value from ALU to accumulator. And down here we have our bitwise logic and our jumping functions. So let's get right into that. Um, I'm going to try to make this video as short as possible, but we'll just have to see once we get there. So uh, let's let's just get the redstone torches and we'll see what we need for the first instruction. So the first instruction is null. Uh, we ignore that one. Um, load value from a from immediate into the accumulator. That is our first instruction that we need to program in. This one is fairly simple and what we basically need to do is just load to accumulator and that is pretty simple. So uh, I've labeled this command LDA load to accumulator. So uh, that that is done. It is that's done. We don't have to deal with that anymore it is out of the way. And it was a very simple command. And you'll notice as we get farther in, we will start layering uh, certain functions on top of each other. Um, so one line does not just use one torch. So uh, the next one we have load A, or load to A. I was meaning to put that. Load to the A value. So as you remember, we have the dual read registers, which have um, a toggle between A and B. So what we need to do is we need to set 1 to A and, what, and uh, 1 to B. So I'm going to get into that. Um, the first thing we need to do is we need to um, uh, ignore this, or we need to have yeah, okay, so first of all, we're going to enable the output of the accumulator into the um, the actual adder. So let's go ahead and do that. So we uh, enable ACC output into input A. So that is A. The next one, we do enable ACC output into input B, which would just be 0. Or I think I flip-flopped those around. But that is it for that. those two instructions. This next one is load ALU or um, load ALU to ACC. So what we need to do here is we need to first save the input of that adder okay, so by doing this sandstone line. And next, we need to um, load to accumulator. So as I said, we're going to have multiple lines on multiple of these, on uh, all of these. So uh, the next few commands we have ignore. So we just uh, don't worry about those. Uh, subtraction. This one, um, it's not as tricky as you may think. So what we do for subtraction is we first 
Um, we invert A or B, depending on how you want to subtract. Uh, and then we save the output. And also, one other thing, we have to put C in on. And I'll show you how to do that. So we put in C on, or C in, we save the output, and then we also um, invert A. So let us uh, invert A. And that should be it right there. Uh, let's see what our next command is, and it should be fairly simple. Uh, XOR. Okay, so this one is similar to the one we just did, except for this one, um, we're going to um, turn on both of these, and then we're going to do that. We're just going to simply have it saved. So anything that you do to the ALU, you want to make sure you save it um, properly. So we got a few more that are just ignore. And then jump, we're going to do in the next episode. Once we build our program counter, our full program counter. And that will be it. So I will see you in the next episode. If you like this video, then go ahead and like it. And if you want to see more, then go ahead and subscribe. But I will see you later. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.